Chicago Police Department, considered by many to be one of the best in the country, is under attack. The police is here for one reason, and this is suppress and oppress black people, especially the young men. You don't have any chance in the black communities, especially in the ghetto. Uh, I was arrested one week three times in quick succession. Uh, it was for disorderly conduct. This is what they put on the arrest report. And it was for nothing for just walking down the street, for being on the street. You could be mugged and robbed on that street right now and be hospitalized for six months to a year with no recourse, and the guy that did it to you will be in and out of that lockup in four hours and standing before a judge within a couple hours, and he'll be discharged because you can't testify against him or no witness or no proof. You as a white man try walking through this district at night, and you'll never make it. Also, colored men can't make it through the district at night. Women aren't safe on the street. <laughs> imagine, imagine a, a man saying that today, Chief. Can this dude, if he, was, if he would be alive, he what, bro? He got to be like 86, 90. Man, uh, I know if he alive, he looking at shit like, what the fuck? If he ain't got dementia? Yo, geez. he, I guarantee you one thing, uh, Krug, I guarantee this. This motherfucker right here saw this shit coming. Chicago, what it is now? Side coming. Yeah, all these motherfuckers, the old school police, especially the gliders, and they saw this shit coming for sure. It was worse back then, though. They was averaging like nine hundred no, bodies a no, year. No. You know, but, you know but, what but, though? I, you can say that, right? Yeah, it was worse. It was worse, like with the numbers, but the yeah. shit was concentrated in yeah. a few areas. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it was a whole lot of shit happening. Cabrini Green, Robert Taylor, the Icky State Way, um, fucking right. Robert Taylor. You know what I'm saying the projects, Robert Taylor, um, shit like that. But the shit did not hit the neighborhoods, though. Like, no. none of that shit rolled through the neighborhoods, like, at all. None of that shit. They motherfuckers didn't come downtown to act a fool. So, right. yeah, the numbers was worse. But it's just, it overall, it just wasn't worse. This shit right here is just so rebellious. On the street. You could be mugged and robbed on that street right now. And be hospitalized for six months to a year with no recourse. And the guy that did it to you... Will be in and out of that lockup in four hours and standing before a judge within a couple hours, and he'll be discharged because you can't testify against him or no witness or no proof. You as a white man try walking through this district at night, and you'll never make it. Also, colored men can't make it through the district at night. Women aren't safe on the street. We can't give them for it. The minute you grab a guy trying to grab somebody, you know what I'm saying? You're wrong. And these are our laws today. And the country's going right down the drain. I call it death. I told you it's the same fucking thing, man. Wow. They had the some man will tell you it was all racist back in these times and da 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 and the cops. The some man will tell days. you when you talk to a boomer, they'll tell you this time was like literally like slave catchers it was similar to slave catchers and slavery and then you look at this shit right Yo, in every video i, I mean guarantee, every I single hold, hold on every single video every single one we don't see any evidence of we don't see no evidence of this being we all we see is white folk complaining. Oh, a white man could not walk through these areas. Think about that. A white man could not walk through here. These areas. That's that lets you know that it didn't just get like that. It don't be like 1968 white men calling black dudes boy to their face and staring them down and in 1971 they can't walk through a black dick. Nah, it always was like that. They always couldn't walk through black areas. That's why they created Jim Crow. So they could at least have their own areas. I mean, it's like this. Look, we already know groups are different. That's no surprise. So it's like basically... Uh, sons were treated differently 
because they acted differently. And then, as was just said a moment ago, the civil rights and all that bullshit, you know, affects the police ability to respond to like that, that energy, that wavelength of the sun. So, yeah, like you said, like nothing's changed. It's always been this way, but it used to be dealt with appropriately. And now it's not anymore. And it's gotten worse. And on this, you could be mugged and robbed on that street right now and be hospitalized for six months to a year with no recourse. And the guy that did it to you will be in and out of that lockup in four hours and standing before a judge within a couple hours. And he'll be discharged because you can't testify against him or no witness or no proof. You as a white man try walking through this district at night and you'll never make it. Also, colored men can't make it through the district at night. Women aren't safe on the street. We can't get them The minute you grab a guy trying to grab somebody, you know what I'm saying? You're wrong. And these are our laws today. And the country's going right down the drain. I call it the death of the city. The people out there aren't safe at night. They can't even sit on their front porches. You know why? Because we can't do nothing about it. Now, if you see four or five guys walking through a alley at night or walking down the street, we can't stop them. If we do stop them, it's harassment. Yet, we got to wait till they commit the crime before we can pinch them. And after the crime is done, what good is it? There is a lot of uh, brutality, sure, but it could be called upon itself. And uh, if it wasn't for the Chicago Police Department, this would be a very terrible place to live in Chicago. It all depends on wow, Cook, Cook County, what do you think about that sister right there? <laughs> That's like the first honest sister we've seen ever. Wow. Salute to MGTOW Javon, man. He says, yo, I, I hate people who think it could be 1,000 different reasons for sun crime except DNA. Come on, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's all DNA because look at these sons back then. With the exception of this sister, man. Shout out to this sister. Um, oh, 